we've seen it with AI, right? Where one company went first and everybody else was scramming, trying to get on the bandwagon, but maybe that intentionality wasn't always really scoped out. And we know what the consequences are. So really? when you're looking at a product like Firefly, what were some of the hurdles that you faced in trying to create a product that not only minimized exposure to harmful and offensive content, but also ensured diverse representation, assure people of intellectual properties? A lot of it boiled down to the company's approach to saying, hey, we're going to start with the baseline of we're only going to use our data from like public sources in our stock platform. And so increasing culturalization, that has been the most difficult because we are still a US-based company. It's really tough. Like India is a great example of so many people and cultures and celebrations and identities in one country that actually requires you to work with, again, community to understand the culture. It does require a very global approach to how we build the product and how we understand people. Um, I'll say that the hardest thing for Firefly early on for us was ultimately expanding our definition of what harm and bias means. How do we think about things like violence and gore in a way where we may help people maintain their creative autonomy while also protecting users and how to respect people again globally where let's say if you search for a queer uh, couple and you are based in the US, maybe we show something. But if you're in a, a country where it's illegal, then do we have any type of mechanisms to make sure they can protect themselves? Because we have our values as a company, but also there's a, a level of impact on others who still generate these things and it might have some effect on them based on what is the culture of that country or locale. 